Friends, if three-phase power supply is used in your home, then you must have seen sometimes in power supply of one phase, voltage becomes low or power supply of one phase is gone. Power supply of remaining two phase is there, but power supply of one phase got tripped. In this condition, what happen is all the load connected with this power supply, these all get turned off. Now, if you want that load must still work, even when the power supply of one phase is gone or voltage becomes low, then in this condition, what you have to do, you have to make this type of changeover switch. Through this changeover switch, you can do changeover of power supply. Y phase power supply is not there. So what I will do, I will do the changeover of this selector switch. After changeover, you can see power supply is returned. Similarly, if this power supply got back to normal, after this power supply of another phase is gone, then in this condition, by rotating this first switch, I mean by changeover of switch, I can turn on the power supply. So how to make changeover switch for our home? Let's understand. For making changeover switch of three phase, we have to use three selector switch. Selector switch you will use, be careful regarding current rating of switch. How much ampere current is flowing in your home? According to that, use proper selector switch. For now, I am using selector switch of 32 ampere. Besides, you have to use three indication lamp also. Indication lamp which I am using right now is of voltage type. It means it will show voltage also. So best option is to use indication lamp of voltage type so that we can check how much voltage is coming to our home. So total three indication lamps I am using here. To make changeover switch properly, I am using a plate on which I already did the marking. It means where to place indication lamp or where to place selector switch, this whole marking is done. Now on the back side of this ply, I fixed the terminal block where wires of incoming power supply and outgoing power supply will be connected. First of all, what I will do, I am mounting this selector switch here and these indication lamps I have, I am mounting these also. Mounting in this switchboard is done. Now we only need to do connection. How to do connection? Let's understand. Connection of this changeover switch is very simple. What you have to do simply is to these three selector switch here, we have to provide power supply of each phase R by B. So I'm taking this red wire and with first terminal here, I'm connecting this. Now take this red phase power supply and in this selector switch, if you see here, marking is there. Terminal on which A1 is written, there you have to connect R phase power supply. So I'm taking this wire and with A1 terminal of this selector switch, I'm connecting this wire. The point on which we connected R phase power supply, loop a wire from here, provide phase supply to another selector switch of R phase power supply. For this, I am using a wire. I am connecting this wire at this point. Now take other end of this wire and with A1 terminal of another selector switch, connect this wire. Now with the point where we connected R phase power supply, loop a wire and provide R phase power supply to another selector switch. So we provided R phase power supply to all the selector switch. Now on this second terminal, we have to connect yellow wire. Yellow wire will be used for Y phase. So I'm connecting this wire with this point. Now we have to connect Y phase power supply with A2 terminal. So with this A2 terminal, I'm connecting this wire. After connecting this, I will do connection of Y phase with all the remaining selector switch. Now take this B phase power supply also and do the connection with all the three selector switch. Take B phase power supply and with A3 terminal do the connection. So to all these three selector switch, I am also providing B phase power supply. Friends to all these selector switch, we provided R, Y, B all the three phase power supply. During the connection, keep one thing in mind, neutral power supply you have, don't connect neutral power supply with selector switch. What you have to do simply is do the connection with phase supply and directly loop the neutral power supply. How to do looping? Let's understand. For neutral power supply, I am using a black wire. I have to connect this wire directly at this point. With this four number terminal, I am directly connecting this wire. Now take other end of this wire and with this last terminal here, connect this wire. I mean do the looping directly at this point. Now after this, what we have to do, this selector switch here, output power supply of this selector switch will be connected at this point. I mean when we turn on selector switch, after turning on, power supply which goes will go to this terminal. So I am connecting this red wire with selector switch. 
take this red wire and in this selector switch with one number point, you can see here one is written. It means this terminal will be for output power supply. So with this point, connect a wire and connect other end with this point. Now power supply of this second selector switch is going to be connected at this point. Now power supply of this third selector switch is also going to be connected here. For this, I am using a wire. I am connecting this wire here. Now connection of these indication lamps is left. I will do the connection of these indication lamps in a way that we can measure the voltage of output power supply. It means selector switch here. If I put this selector switch in this position, then power supply which goes from here, that power supply must be shown here. That is how much voltage is going to our home. That voltage must be shown here by indication lamp. So connection of this indication lamp will be done with output power supply. So if we want, we can loop wire from here only and provide power supply to this. Or with output terminal of selector switch also, we can do the connection. For now, from output terminal of selector switch, I am looping wire so that short wires can be used. So this output power supply of first selector switch here, I am connecting this with indication lamp. Now take output power supply of second selector switch, do the connection with indication lamp. Similarly, take output power supply of third selector switch and do the connection with third indication lamp. Now to glow these three indication lamps, we have to provide neutral power supply also. So this neutral power supply I have, I mean this neutral power supply of output, from this point loop a wire and provide neutral power supply to these three lamps. Now our changeover switch is completely ready. Now we have to do testing of this. For testing, what I have to do with these incoming power supply terminals here, I have to connect R by B and neutral power supply. After this, at output, I have to connect load. In this terminal block with input terminals, I connected incoming power supply. And with output terminals, I connected load. Now let's move on to testing. For testing, I am putting it like this. For testing, first of all, turn on the MCB. Even after turning on MCB, you can see not a single indication lamp is glowing. Along with this, load is also in off condition. Now what I am doing, this first selector switch here, select one number position in this selector switch. If I rotate it to this position, you can see this red indication is glowing. Along with this, this indication lamp here started showing voltage. You can see here 240 volt it is showing. Now the second selector switch here, let's turn on this also. Lamp turned on. Indication lamp is showing the voltage. This selector switch is in one number position. So in this selector switch, I am selecting two number position. So that this selector switch use Y phase power supply. This selector switch is using R phase power supply. This one Y phase. And let's select B phase for this one. You can see all the three indication lamps are showing voltage. Along with this, all the three lamps are glowing. Now what I will do, this Y phase MCB here, I am turning off this. After turning off this, you can see Y phase lamp turned off. And the selector switch which was connected with Y phase, this also turned off. Voltage of remaining two phase it is showing here. But voltage of this phase is not there. Now if power supply of one phase is gone or voltage becomes low, then in this condition what you have to do, this selector switch here, rotate this. Right now Y phase power supply is not there, so if I want, I can connect with B phase power supply or with R phase. Right now I connected with R phase. On selecting R phase power supply, you can see lamp started glowing. Along with this, it is showing voltage also. Now I am turning off R phase power supply also. Now you can see power supply of two phase is gone. These two lamps turned off because with R phase power supply, both the lamps were connected. It means we did selection of one number position. Now if I want to glow these two lamps, then in this condition, we have to do changeover of this selector switch. Let's do changeover. Lamp is not glowing. Lamp is glowing. It means I have to keep this selector switch on this position. Now this lamp is also not glowing. So let's do changeover of this also. You can see after changeover, power supply got back. So just understand that all these lamps are load of your home. Like this is of first floor, this one is second floor and this one is of third floor. In normal condition, do the connection of first floor with R phase power supply. Power supply to second floor will go through Y phase and this power supply to third floor will go through B phase. 
in normal condition what you have to do you have to select selector switch at 1 2 and 3 number position so how this changeover switch works i explain this to you friends if you want to learn how to do connection of auto changeover switch in distribution board then click on the right hand side video to watch thanks for watching this video